Howdy partners. This week, a taste of Europe comes from the land of great blue skies, wide open prairies, where buffalo still roam free. Well, in, in pens. Forget the Wild West, because this week we're in southern Italy, where organic buffalo milk becomes an incredible mozzarella cheese. My hat! Delicious in salads, and as vital to pizza as tomatoes. The Italians have been making buffalo milk cheese since these gentle animals were first imported by the Romans. This farm at ancient Paestum near Naples produces 2,100 kilos of buffalo mozzarella every week. Unique in Italy, Francesco Marino's dairy is completely organic and his mighty 500 buffalo live a life of Riley. The buffalo are so well looked after here, they even have their own shower. Rubber mattresses to sleep on. It almost seems a shame to pester them for a little bit of milk. So when they come in, Francesco, they know ex ex exactly where they're going. Yes, uh, they have only one position and it's the same for 10 years of life. So in actual fact, they're really quite intelligent animals. Yes, they're very intelligent animals, much more than a cow. They absolutely love this guy. They come in and they go into respective stalls, and when they come to leave, he just gives them a little pat. They don't want to go. It's just lovely to see. They adore him, absolutely adore him. We've seen the buffaloes being milked, now this is the cheese process. So come here Dave, give us your watch. So it's 11 o'clock, so let's, uh, let's see how long it takes. They said that mozzarella cheese was first made when some curds fell into a bucket of water accidentally. But nowadays, the Italians have a much more scientific approach. The mozzarella process is actually deceptively simple. Once the uh, milk is spits into curds away, what they call the pasta, which is this big lump of, of, of uh, set curds here. They drain that for about an hour, then they mill it, which basically means to choose it up into little tiny pieces. Put it into these bowls here, and they pipe onto it, boiling water and stirring all the time. What happens is, those little tiny curds become a big, solid mass, which they've got to keep moving very, very hot. Then they just rip it off into small pieces, Dave, come here. This is Dave's sound. This is his watch. What's that, Dave? 23? 23? I can't read a watch. <laughs> Best part of 23 minutes. And look at that, it's finished. From the ancient Paestum Hills, country mozzarella has made a huge leap into the big city.